Okay, Neptune Golden Stakes is up next, a one mile four furlong listed race. Number one is Commander Data for Paul Rhodes. Two is Salem's Luck for Joshua Southern. Three, Autumn Sun for Alex Cherry along with Belgium New Year. Foghorn George for Del Hinton and Martin Stewart and Doug. Stadio Olympico for Darren Thompson. Sleep Tight for Carl Arrogante. Dak Attack for Hilltop Stables. Deadlock Cyclone for Django. Daddy's Little Girl for Paul Rhodes. Deadlock Shockwave for Django. Exotic Dancer for Martin Leedham. Red Kite for Carl Arrogante. And San Autos Esp. Autoresp. Outdoor rest for Darren Thompson makes up the last one. There's 15 of them. They're in the gates and already away here. A fairly even break, although Belgian New Year and Autumn Sun both uh, taking a bit of a hold. This is everybody else at the moment. Another tactical battle here. 12 furlongs, and the one that's belted out of the pack now is Deadlock Cyclone to take it up. It's taken a couple of lengths advantage from the remainder of the pack. There's Deadlock Cyclone. It's going to lead us round this top turn. So Deadlock Psycho leads from Foghorn Jewels. And we've got Red Kite Commander Data out wide. Salem's Lots there. Then San Outer Steps all a mid pack. Daddy's Little Girl, the grey Dak attack. And the yellow silks of Deadlock Shockwave. Plenty of Deadlocks in here. And they're just being followed through by Exotic Dancer. Some suns there on against the fences, Belgium, New Year, and Stadio Olimpico just to the rear. So it's still Deadlock Cyclone as they're inside the final mile. It's Deadlock Cyclone leads by about seven here from Foghorn, George, and Commander Data out wide against the fence. Sleep tight and red kite for Carl Arrogante pushing through his San Outer step, but still Deadlock Cyclone. This is advantage down to just a couple of lengths now from Foghorn, George is pushed through. Joshua Sutherland, Salem's lot is out wide. Widest of all is Daddy's Little Girl as they take this right turn now. We're inside six furlongs. As you can see, the ones are wide of losing lengths here. So it's Deadlock Cyclone that leads now. The field's been well pulled apart due to that bend. So Deadlock Cyclone leads by about four to sleep tight Foghorn George. We think Daddy's Little Girl is now in last place, was in second before they hit that bend. So we get down to four furlongs and it's Deadlock Cyclone, Salem Slot, Sleep Tight, Foghorn George and Red Kite, but the one that's making the biggest challenge now is Salem Slot inside the four. Half a mile left to travel, it's Salem Slot, leads by half a length from Deadlock Cyclone. It looks like he's got plenty on Salem Slot and they're a couple of lengths ahead of the chasing Red Kite, Foghorn George, Sleep Tight. Out wide is Deadlock Shockwave, but it's Salem Slot that's got a couple of length advantage as they get down to the two. It's Salem Slot from Deadlock Cyclone, Red Kite. Foghorn, George, Sleep Tight, Deadlock, Shockwave. They're not going to catch this leader. Salem's Lot's got a couple of events advantage inside the one and a half. And it's Salem's Lot now. Leads by three to Deadlock, Cyclone. It's going to be a comfortable win, I think, for the Sutherland Stables here. Salem's Lot's been leading for a couple of furlongs now. And Salem's Lot's going to take this by two to three from Deadlock, Cyclone in second. Nothing else is in the race. Third was Foghorn, George, fourth. Then it was Deadlock, Shockwave. So an easy win there for Josh. Run on the board takes that with Salem's lot. Second was Deadlock Cyclone for Django. Third was Foghorn George for Del Hinton. Fourth was Deadlock Shockwave for Django. And fifth was Red Kite for Carl Arrogante.